We're back with another episode of Scrap Mechanic. But this time we're not in the survival world, we're in a creative world. And the reason for this is I discovered a new mod we could play around with a little bit. And that is for most of you should know. This game is lacking in some features from survival mode. This game mode to be precise. But some mods allow for modification to that. So I found this mob that allows me to summon any bot or creature. So I made a small construction, a really simple one, that does that. So this one here should summon a walk. Yeah. Green summons a green hay. Orange summons a hay bot. This summons a walk. Summons a glow bug, an explosive tape bot that doesn't show explosive tape, and a boss bot. Boss bot. And well, I would like to mainly use this thing to test it out on my ship I made, which I called Ship Model 0.95. So there seems to be an error with this ship. I'm not sure why, but uh, the ship I spent over a hundred hours making doesn't work. Hopefully they solve the problem. Yeah. But here's a preview of it. It's a six propeller thing, small helipad for a hovercraft I made, Anyon cannon, four landing gears. It's a cord go be at the back with a hover bike inside the cargo bay. There's also a core somewhere in the front and the bridge also has a lot of features. Here's the parts list. It did get a little laggy with this thing when I was on the floor, but it wasn't that laggy when it was off the floor. Also earlier today, I discovered that my hovercraft I made um, could be summoned, but the gimbals don't work anymore. So that's a bust until they update the game. The other thing is my car also doesn't work, but fortunately, my hover bike does, and it has this. Cool purple thruster effect. Sing from a level 5 thruster. So it could go forward in a decently fast place, spin around, strafe, and go backwards, and has impulse split guns on the side to not damage from but shoot things really far off. And 6 is for wireless router on the side. It took me an hour or two to make this bike, not that complicated. Uses this bunch of glitches to run around and stabilize. And I'm surprised it still works. This is the last thing I made for the update. I made it in May 6th I think actually. I figure out the only robot that actually attack is the boss robot. The greenie that stays there does nothing. I can hit it and let's do a death animation, but after that it just stays there. It doesn't go after me like the boss bot does. Same goes for the farm bot. I don't know why it does it twice when I press it manually, but it also not sure if this thing could break. He is looking at me, but doesn't seem to be doing anything. The red tape pod does do something, just shoots me, but doesn't do anything else but that. And doesn't it even explode, even with blocks. Well, okay. They don't explode tape. And the 
only one I actually see working is the boss bot. Which does go after me and attack. And could do damage to my vehicle. No, it can't keep up with my hover bike. And here I can use my impulse spot guns to um, shoot him away. There. They're just to shoot things away from my vehicle instead of actually harming them. They are pretty effective. So he could destroy the bike if he wanted. Got a swing. Is he got a swing? He never done that before. <laughs> yeah. So he destroys. Oh. I also found out the world clearer. Or the world cleaner from the new legend mod. Also could clear them out. Just like the blocks. Oh yeah. I also found a version of the ship that actually does summon. It's model 0.6 instead of model 0.95. I'm not sure why this is the only one that could spawn, even if the ones that were under this one couldn't. This was the only version that was able to spawn. So I guess you guys could see a rough understanding of what I had. So this is so much more lacking than the other one. The other one had a lot more features and things in it. First off, there's the cargo bay. My one, the, there's a lot of boxes and the hover bike that I just used. And something that I don't see any other things have are life pods. These life pods had worked before the update, but something caused them to break, so they don't. The thrusters don't activate. In this room, we will be able to see the core. Because all places near the core, there is a nuke inside of there that could detonate. Here's my elevator. That could go up to the lower deck, middle deck, and upper deck. Do you have a gyro system here that stabilizes the thing? So a small kitchen and of living quarters that have kind of working doors, even if there are pistons. These are removed in the final version. Actually, that version isn't even the final one. I actually kept it from being the final one just because of the update and lag reasons. I want to update to improve some lag and some stuff. These are manually controllable turrets here. Use thrusters to move around. Um, the latest version has a single one on the tip and is an automatically tracking one. A turret I made myself. And this one, 1, 2 to turn, WS to go up and down and tree to fire explosive spud guns using the more spud guns mod but it is really unstable that's why i went for the better one yeah you might be like hey you should change this and this just remember like most of the most of the features in this ship are already replaced in the older versions So, in this thing, I did allow it to fly off the ground to, for two meat purposes. To get off the ground for less lag. I guess I just used a small thruster in the middle. So, he uses an anti-gravity module in a basement for it to move around. I guess that's the core of the 
aircraft hover helicarrier whatever it's called so I think it is time for me to show you what the boss button could do to this place I've done this earlier today, but... <coughs> but the results might be different this time. And I'll weld that on there. And take flight. Okay, we're back. Back in the air. There's also two life pods up here. That actually activates... The alarm. As I mentioned earlier, uh, these life pods don't work anymore. I mean, they do decouple and doors open, but other than that, they don't. And even the parachutes move out, but their thrusters don't have to make. The thrusters are disabled. Oh, also. I'm not sure if you noticed or not, but in here is a miniature model of the entire ship. It's just the bridge felt too empty, so I decided to add this here. I, um, my other model actually is better than this one. Also, this green, lime green color here was replaced with a light blue color later versions, actually 0.95, the latest version. Also, I forgot to show you something. This level here. Yep. This is the ion cannon I built. It's there in the front. 0.6 is the version I built the ion cannon. It does shoot a aesthetic beam and an actual beam. The beam the laser beam on front of this is also from the mod, more spud guns. That mod is a really fun mod to use, so I highly recommend you download and use it. So maybe you guys have been waiting for this or not, but I've been summoning a boss spot. See what how it does in a ship that flies. There. <laughs> I noticed you can't kill them too. They take 60 spot hits or hammer hits to kill, but they don't seem to die. They do have particle effects, but they don't really die actually. They do have a death animation to explode them or crush them, but after that they just stand still. Spaceship block is actually very durable, but it would survive a long time against this creature. Not sure, is this stuck on the ceiling? There, he's off. Yes, he could do damage. wondering the mod I downloaded for this is the survival robots I think. I think that was the name. The survival robots. Or something like that. This has a symbol. It's fun now it's just the boss not attacking. I also noticed that every time they step they actually damage the um, floor. I tested this out with wood, and he destroyed the buttons for the elevator. Great. Oh yeah. You notice that if 
they destroy their own module here, actually, they just die, disappear. So wait, let me get a paint tool out and recolor one of these other ones. It's um this color for a false spot. I actually clicked it twice. Just spawn a lot. Then. <laughs> okay, that's a little excessive. Oh, they destroyed it again. All right. Actually, it does get a little laggy with them in the realm. So, um, I guess I should go back on the floor, crown, and then do something else for a little while. Do you, any of you guys watching this know what I could do about um controller failed? Thing. Controller connection error. Hopefully they they fix that in the studio sooner or later. Eventually, at least. Also, another thing. I'm also a pretty big fan of Subnautica. If you can tell by the videos I've been uploading. So, I begin to work on a QEP. A quarantine enforcement platform. It's the thing that shoots the other thing down. I want it to actually not look like it and be a 1 by 1 1 replica, or at least something like it. I also want it to work almost fully. So all I was able to do is get the tablet thing the, the tablet thing installed and then when I t click any of these four squares it destroys the first field using decouplers and glass things. I was using spud guns to destroy them but they seem indestructible. There's also one in the inside. have a switch here to turn off the lights. The light up there also activates when you get close to it, but it's not really close enough. I did design this entire thing by myself, but I eventually gave up after I came over here. I had some that got in this game open when I was doing that, but it just became a very tedious task and... What else do we have here? Uh, I used to play this game when I was young, so I have some bit of a stupid things in here, to be honest. Like this was one of the first things I made. It's just a square with thrusters in it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I could show you this. Kinetic missiles. These are actually um, missiles that doesn't have bombs inside. It just cripples enemies and stuns them. Just and knocking them around and pushing them around, etc. So it's like antibodies if you know what those are from science class. So when I press number 6, they get decoupled and go after me. I'm not sure why, but half of them doesn't seem to be working. As you can see, it also cripples you by lagging out the game. Press 6 again to deactivate them, and they just flop on the floor, and 6 again to, for them to fly. This is. Kinetic missiles actually is something I had for a little while. And I decided to make it go with a hover bike and just play around like this for the before the update. Because I just see people having early access and I just got 
jealous and just start to play a lot. Make a lot of things. You guys might also be wondering what this is, but this is ridiculously heavy blocks, over a thousand of them, and for anti-matter thrusters. And apparently, I wasn't really intentionally trying to do this, but this thing, this thing here, could go past the sky block with no issue. So here I have the antimatter thrusters active. It doesn't seem to be doing much, but they just go shoot the sky blocks. Sky blocks. Without a sweat. Just keep on going up like this until you pass it. But it, it is safe and while you're in the game. I think we just passed it. Let's see. Yeah. And that'll just go back through. Because that will also go back through. We can also use this to get back down. Because this also just goes through the floor and gets sent back up a lot. So here we are now. All the edge of the world. Hmm. Anything else I made from the past decade in this game? A lot of these things are actually just repainted and slightly modified versions of other people's creations. I got that stage over with. I just you know, copied a lot of people's stuff back then. Though I didn't re-upload them. Don't get me wrong, I didn't do that. Just modify them and play it as my own. Oh, I still don't like it even if I didn't upload them. So that's when I decided I'll make my own stuff. And then the first thing I made by myself after that was the car and then the ship. Um, this one actually this is the other version of the ship. Which I was thinking about a different way to use landing gears, but as you could see here, the difference. These actually extended with the sensor, but they, this caused so much lag. It's unbearable. Oh yeah, here's the AI tour I have in the final version. Also in the bottom of my hovercraft. Oh, I can't weld things. So this works like this works by clicking you clicking the button. Oh, it's following me. Oh, that is very strange. This is creepy, actually. Oh, oh my god. actually weld this on the floor so that means getting back there I don't think we passed mm. physics are slightly strange up here let me do that again but without so much haste Sometimes does that a lot. And I think we're sure. Yep. Uh, I got the idea of the thing. I call it the hyper gradient. Got it from something that Google made. The land ship.
does fire, yes. And the gun on that thing is also from the mod, from the more spud guns mod. Shoots explosive spuds in the higher quantity. blue hole and actually one of those deep hole things that just get trapped down and you can't get back up but mine's actually you could get back up and I found out the reason is because I put the big rock overhead the big rock you see there that allows the player to spawn on top of it and not get permanently stuck inside of it Same thing also happened when I fell off um, my ship, um, Model 0.9, and then I've gone through the world. But because my ship was right overhead, it spawned me on my ship instead of instead of on the floor. So here we see the blue hole. You can fall down it and. Yeah, you get teleported back up. They don't do that when you're playing the game on a message anymore, it looks like. Even if they have a shirt for it. Oh, that was a smooth transition. Transition. I cannot talk. I could never. I'm actually know a different language. So I do have difficulty talking. I also made this piston elevator which took me way too long to make. I made this when the pistons first came out. It is pretty messy, but still is functional. It does things. It took me literally like a week to program it. This was me when I was younger and didn't know much programming. And then just did random things until it worked. But now I understand things like not getting some idiots. So yeah, I guess that's the conclusion for my world. I did say that before having time. Then I got distracted. Alright. So I guess I'll see you next time.